producers have agreed to cut production for the first time in eight years. Good morning, Lee This morning. Good morning. Not good news for both. us if we hear oil prices are growing up because eventually it hits us at the pumps. Exactly. So crude oil is the raw material in terms of a move. And this is because they're reducing the production now. Right exactly, now. exactly. So there are still details to be worked out on the yeah, certainly in terms of politics, if nothing more. Okay. Victoria, thanks very much. Commonly prescribed pain. We were just talking about crude prices, weren't we? Yes, um, we were. And uh, really interesting, isn't it, that, uh, that just how big ice is no longer. It was almost like synonymous. You know, like you say Hoover when it's vacuum cleaner. You just say, oh, grab your Blackberry. Exactly. And now we did don't you, even think did about you that. have a Blackberry? Yeah. I've had a Blackberry. Yeah. I even had Blackberry thumb. You know, so you get repetitive yeah, yeah, yeah. strain yeah, injury from a little yeah. wheel yeah. on the side. I never yeah. had one. No, yeah. It's kind of a work thing more than a social thing, wasn't yeah. it? You didn't miss out. They weren't no. great. No. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, well, they used to strain well, your thumb. Only, there are only 1.4 million being made now, exactly. so obviously they didn't work. No, it didn't. Thanks very much. 16 minutes to get their foot in the door. That exactly. first chance to get into a workplace. Exactly. We're talking about internships and work experience. Good morning to you. Internships are formal work experience programmes that tend to last a couple of months. Now, increasingly, this seems to be the best route to a well-paid graduate level job because nearly three quarters of all graduate employers hired a former intern this year. That's a 13% rise on last year. This is according to the body that represents graduate recruiters, both in the public and the private sectors. Let's hear from Ellie Cresswell. Ellie is an intern at the accountancy firm PwC in Manchester. Now Stephen Isherwood is the boss of the Association of Graduate Recruiters who did this study. Good morning to you. It's paid. In our end of the market, yes. And quite often... Between work experience then and internships. Work experience... Well, where's Prada? You know, you've got Anne Hathaway chasing Meryl Streep around, doing some pretty menial tasks. Is that the experience of internships or do they actually get meaningful work experience? I heard from Ellie there, who's at a big accountancy firm. Not everyone wants to work for a big firm. So what are your chances of getting a decent graduate level job if you're not doing an internship? Looking for, what are the recruiters looking for? Is there like a minimum academic requirement or do you have to be a certain age, for example? Employees apply the same criteria to their interns. Loads of uh, great information there. Stephen Ishwood, the boss of the Association of Graduate Recruiters. Thanks, Victoria. Good morning. Are we heading for higher petrol prices? Some of the world's biggest oil producers have agreed to cut production for the first time in eight years. Good morning. In and, you know, who's going to tell you if a house you want to buy has been or is at risk. Yeah, exactly. Good morning to you both. Uh, good morning to you at home. There's been some research into this and uh, one of the big insurance bodies, the insurance industry body, thinks that a simple warning system like a traffic light system or property listings would encourage future owners to consider the danger of living in a flood prone area early before they even put an offer on and pay for a formal survey. Now, you might be surprised to hear that there are over 5 million homes at risk of flooding in this country. But how high up on your your list of concerns is it if you're honest when you're looking to buy well it's not really that high up for many of us at all in fact less than a third of us look into flood risk we're in fact far more worried about how easy it is to park outside the front door aren't we but it is costing us dear so the insurance industry thinks we should have as they say this traffic light system red amber and green on all property ads so that buyers are forewarned of the dangers before they even book a viewing well let's speak now to robert reed who's an estate agent do we know how much money is normally spent before people realize that the house of their dreams is actually potentially going to go underwater well it will vary of course do we know how this sort of new system if it actually came into force would actually work i mean what would qualify for example as a red light on a property well that's right this is very you know who would even pay for this well one would presume do you think all of this would affect house prices because presumably people aren't going to be that interested in houses with a red logo yeah I and mean, i think it's a very blunt and do you think it could affect you know the the amount of new bills because you know about seven percent of all construction of brilliant uh, robert thank you very much for your time so that's the advice you should go and have a good look before you even go around uh, and get who's taking a look at this because we're not particularly fussed about prices going up of course well you should be because there are two reasons for that and however if you're running an airline company if you're running a chemicals company even if you travel a lot by car it could mean that prices at the pumps for example will rise because crude oil is a main constituent part which is this group that has sort of agreed a production cut they produce about 40 going to be equal is it no certainly won't okay be interesting in over come november thanks very much victoria thanks